You gotta get in your corner, Andrew. What? He quit. quit. What are you doing? Last second, the bell's gonna ring. And he said it a little more colorfully than that, Steve. I'm telling you right now, Soto's excited, he's upset, and I'll tell you what. They're throwing popcorn soda. After he quits at the end of two rounds. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope this doesn't really get out of hand now. It's getting very ugly here now as they hustle him out into the back area. Let's talk to the man himself, Mr. Galata, Andrew. The crowd is stunned. They can't believe it. What happened? What happened? First of all, it wasn't my day today, but I got a headbutt. I want you both to stop punching and step back, protecting yourselves at all times. Remember, a foul can cost you a round. Mandatory eight count is in effect. Watch your low blows and watch the holding and hitting. Any questions here? All right, I want a clean contest. Good luck to both of you. Let's shake it. 210 pounds of unguarded meat. Game plan is starting to work now. Tyson is invited. Tyson is invited. And there was an uppercut. Shot. There's the punch. Terrific uppercut. The opponent seeing the punch, and those are the punches that do the most damage. There it is. Never saw it coming.
so do you want to continue? He said, yeah, hell yeah. That's a fighter. Here, Tyson with that aggressive style and working the left hook, he was able to hurt. And that's it. You want to say that there is no way Rebolta can win the fight. I'm cautioning again. Obey my commands at all times. Is there any questions? Shake hands. Good luck. Bruno's showing that he's not afraid. Hanging on. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand. And there goes Bruno for the first time of the fight. Watch this now, and let's see just how it happened. It was a short right hand that caught Bruno. He was wobbled. And then another right hand kind of up over the shoulder. And you notice Tyson never stopped swinging. There's the short right that has him in trouble. Right now, he's, he's wobbled on his legs. And then it's up on the top of the back of the head. But he's not hurt here at all. This is round five. Remember, remember, a fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. In big trouble. John, so nice close up to you here. Beautiful right to the body there, right up the gut to the chin. What kept Bruno's mouthpiece in, I'll never know. And he was all at sea at this stage, and Terry Lawless was up on the ringside apron there, waving the towel as Rick was down from the right hand angle. And you saw Tyson there landing some beautiful punches. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round. TK. Uh, are there any well, listen questions to by either of you? I both use touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Tyson not afraid, as we expected, and Spinks ready to mix it up with him. Tyson along the ropes doing damage. Michael Spinks has to keep moving. Oh, uppercut landed inside. Perception of the fight that you're simply too strong for him. He could deal not just with your punch, but with the pressure. Let's yes. keep moving. Oh. Uppercut landed inside and Spinks went down. Oh. It was the left uppercut. I was surprised there was a body shot that put him to the canvas. And that is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. In a professional fight. And he's down again. Watch again. This is after Spinks got up after one knockout, tried to fight back. Fighters have ever thrown the uppercut with greater effect than this champion. Here we have another angle. And that beautiful right uppercut caught him perfectly. It seemed to have caught him on the top of the forehead. In serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Uh, oh, board. Protect yourself at all times. Like you, baby. Both yeah. his touch gloves. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Stewart has stated categorically that he knows he needs to keep throwing punches to try to keep Tyson occupied. If he stops throwing, he'll be dead. Tyson lands a right and another. <laughs> You look at Tyson moving in with controlled fury and the right hand bleed from the first knockdown. And he went down without Mike having to land a crushing blow. I was afraid of a 30 second sound bite. All right, man. Okay, let's go. A good right hand that hurt Stewart again, but Stewart is still upright. By this time, Stewart still wobbly. Another look at knockdown number two. And you can see that the right hand simply glanced off the top of Stewart's head, but it was enough to put that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Taking a good look at his cappuccino. He's going to let him go. Three knockdown rule is in effect. If Stewart goes down again, it's over. And Stewart has quit throwing punches. Thing or else it's just a question of a few seconds. That'll do it. 
Here's knockdown number three, which came at two minutes, 27 seconds of the first round. A right and a left, and that was enough for Alex Stewart. Referee Frank Cappuccino began the count, which was academic at that point. Five, six, seven, They're forgetting that the three eight. knockdown rule is in effect. This fight is over. Well, Stewart said that Tyson was a mountain. He had a climb. The winner. The right hand to the top of the head was the one that put Alex down. That knockdown occurred within the first 10 seconds of the round. Scheduled for 12. Tyson man withstood the punches of the other, both hard punches. That was right on the button. If he fell before, he should have fallen down. And a solid left hook by Tyson, then a right. Down goes right. Really hard. I, I think if you really looked at it tough, you have to say Let's it's go. not a legitimate fight. But it was you quite get there. There's a right. Good punches. In comes the counter. Tyson Killer, the left hook. Ruddock, a left by Tyson, and down goes Ruddock. What a counter punch. Introducing the one, the only, Mike Tyson. And he could protect yourself at all times. I expect a tough, clean fight. Any questions from McNeely's corner? Any questions from Mr. Tyson's corner? Let's get it on. You want said, here we go. And McNeely, as advertised, comes right at Mike Tyson. Down goes McNeely. Seconds into the first round. Keep your eyes on the right hand of Mike Tyson. Now he's, now he's in a perfect position to come back. Whack. And you see he's turning his head as he got hit. But it was enough to stun him and he kind of tripped over Mike's feet as well. And, and then it, the way he's punching that right hand right there got him. Now the second knockdown he's hurt more no. on the inside. But this is still a replay of the first knockdown. Mike comes across just a nice nice short crisp turned over right hand. Kind of stunned McNeely. Semi flash knockdown. Not real hurt. Gets up kind of clowning around. Seconds into the fight, McNeely on the canvas. Mills Lane had oh. stopped that nonsense because it was starting to butt heads. Oh, Tyson with the left hook, a right of Any question, Mr. Tyson? Mr. Right. Okay, Bruno, let's get it on. And this is what Bruno expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson who fought McGillian and Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson laying it on, pouring it on. Down goes Bruno into the ropes. And it is all over. It is all over here in round three. Mike Tyson is champion again. And that is it. Mike Tyson is back. The Tyson era has begun force of nature in the heavyweights and Mike Tyson over to console Frank Bruno I'm caution you again obey my commands at all times anything below these bell obey my command shake hands good luck he had a nice long rest there but he has felt back comes Sheldon and he hit Sheldon but it's not even a big hook I mean that's a half a hook Bruce goes back into the ropes, and I think I think it's partially a problem of this. Bruce goes back to the ropes and down. The crowd is booing. I hear him in the background. I'll tell you why they're booing, Steve. They don't believe those are legitimate shots for heavyweight champions to be knocked out with, and I have to somewhat agree.